All right, Max, thanks for joining us. Let's start with your new team, the Long Island Lizards. You had a career in Denver. Now you're back in Long Island. How, how is that adjustment? It's great. To be back in Long Island is awesome. Playing back home in Long Island, 20 minutes from where I grew up, you know, the same field where I won my county championship in high school, um, in front of my high school coaches, um, family, friends, etc. cetera. So uh, it's, a, it's a great atmosphere. I'm loving it and, uh, you know, looking forward to it. Hopefully uh, another couple of years. Then. Let's talk about on the field. How's the chemistry so far? It's getting there. Um, you know, I came in a little bit late this season because I was still playing indoor with the Philadelphia Wings, and um, you know we, we got off to a little slow start. And, and you know my first game was back, shoved me right back into Denver, and we got beat up pretty bad. Uh, but I think it took a little bit of a beating for us to kind of you know realize what we need to fix and, and how, how we needed to grow. Um, but. You know, we, we've really come together in the locker room. The chemistry is building. You feel it. Uh, in practices, we've gotten to be with each other a little bit more uh, frequently. So we're getting the field, you know, for, for, for people on and off the field and just building those relationships. And that, and that goes a long way uh, to building a, a successful team. And it's been fun. It's obviously a whole lot more fun when, when we win. And, you know, we're just trying to grow each week and, and hopefully peak towards the end of the season. Now, you yourself are, are known as a two-way player, a very strong two-way player. How did you develop those skills? You know, I, I played all different sports throughout my entire life, and I played soccer. There's a lot of running in that. Um, you know, any sport really. And then when it came to lacrosse, that was kind of how I was taught. You, you, if you're on the field and you want to play offense, you better you better get your butt back on defense. For me, that's kind of always been the mentality uh, to play offense, play defense. But also, it's I, I love playing both ends of the field. So if I get an opportunity to play some defense, um, you know, make a make a big stop and create some transition, that's an exciting part of the game. I love that and. And you know, one of my strengths is my speed, so that, that really gives me the whole field to work with. Now, let's talk about the fact that you made this transition. You were known as a leader for the Denver Outlaws. What is it like here with a new set of guys? Do you feel like you're fitting into the leadership role? I think I, I think I've, I've brought on a little bit more of a leadership role with the, the Lizards than I had with the Outlaws. We had, we had a, a great group of, in the Outlaws organization. Um, had some, some older leadership, some big names, so everyone kind of had their say in it and you had to listen and for me I was a you know my first three years in the league I guess I was still a young buck and now I kind of see I had to say but I'm one of the the old guys now being in my fourth summer and uh, even though I like to think I'm still young and I'm 24 we still have you know the majority of the guys on our team who are playing are younger than me um, we, which is great we've got a, a young group including the draft class that just came in that are having a huge impact on us so I'm, I'm taking a little bit more of a leadership role especially on that offensive end, but just in general, uh, a little bit more vocal role than I've had in the past. And it's fun, you know, just try to lead by example and go out and compete as hard as I can. But if, if I need to say something, you know, our coach, coaching staff and organization has been great to, you know, give me that freedom and, and have that ability to, to step up and say something if I feel like I need to. And Jim Brown is one of the owners of the Lizards. He came to talk to you guys a couple weeks ago. What, how has it been having him as an active part of the team? Made his way out to our, 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 my first home game this season in Long Island. Uh, it was our second of the, the, the season, and uh, he, he came in. He was great earlier in the week, Thursday, before practice. Uh, the new ownership group and Jim Brown uh, went out for some cocktails, meet and greet type atmosphere. Um, so cool opportunity for them to socialize. And then uh, he came out on Friday night. Coach asked him to, to give us a pregame speech, and he jumped on that opportunity. And for us, it was, it was awesome. One of the all-time great football players, all-time great lacrosse players. And just to, just to hear him speak and, and to see, you know, his reflection on the past, his thoughts about the game of lacrosse in particular, and then, you know, just his excitement to be a part of it. And for us, that was a little extra motivation to, to go out and compete hard. Well, what's been your favorite memory to date in lacrosse? I mean, any at any time in your life? USA Championship, my first real ring, I guess I could put on my finger. Won a lot of Ivy League championships, but to be at the elite level, elite level playing with the top players in the world against the best players in the world, and to come out with a gold medal was, was pretty, uh, pretty memorable. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us, Max, and maybe we'll see a championship with uh, you in the future. I hope so. Thank you.